I'm taking on my most ambitious astrophotography project yet. It's a three panel mosaic of the Saturn region in the constellation Cygnus. It is a beautiful, busy region, rich with hydrogen and nebulosity. This project will take me between 45 to 60 hours just capturing the images I need. Because summer nights are shorter, I only have six to seven hours a night to shoot. The summer monsoon season in the southwestern US presents a significant challenge and because of the type of camera I'm shooting with, it'll take me about three times longer to do all my imaging sessions. My personal preference is using a monochrome camera, which is more sensitive to light than a one-shot color camera and can pull faint details more quickly. Attached to the camera is an electronic filter wheel containing the filters I'm using for this project. They're called narrowband filters because they only allow a very narrow part of the visible light spectrum to pass through. In front of the filter wheel is a field flattener, which reduces or eliminates distortion at the edges of a telescope's field of view and also acts as a focal reducer. The field flattener is attached to the telescope's optical tube, which is basically the camera lens. Mounted on the telescope is a similar William Optics guide scope with a guiding camera. These are crucial to accomplish more accurate mount tracking, resulting in sharper images and exposure times of up to 10 minutes without star trails. Next to my guide scope setup is a wireless mini PC that lets me automate my sessions using my smartphone or tablet. Lastly, everything sits on a harmonic drive equatorial mount. I started this project on July 18th and it is now July 31st. The last time I was able to image was on July 20th, but ever since then, the monsoon has made its way back into the region, so it's been cloudy or raining every night since, so I've hardly been able to get anything off the ground. In addition to the weather, content creation isn't my full-time job, so I work a regular job in the corporate world as a consultant to support my family, my astrophotography, and content creation efforts. Occasionally, I have to work pretty long hours or manage a heavy workload that leaves me too tired at the end of the day to even want to set up my astrophotography gear out back. But perhaps the biggest challenge I faced during this project was when I started having cold symptoms that rapidly worsened into the next morning. In the post-2020 world, we all know what that could mean, and my suspicions were confirmed with two positive test results for COVID. Though it was nowhere near as bad as the first time I caught it, it was still bad enough to put me in and out of bed for almost three days. Fortunately, I bounced back quicker than I expected. After waiting 13 days for the weather to finally clear up enough for me to make meaningful progress, I kicked my imaging sessions back into gear on August 2nd, scoring some clear nights on August 4th, 5th, and 6th before clouds rolled back in for another four days but on the night of August 10th and into the morning of the 11th, I finally was able to complete what are called sub-exposures. Between July 18th and August 11th, I took a total of 882 sub-exposures, which I then stacked and combined together using software. What made this project especially longer is the area I imaged is so wide, I had to shoot it in three sections using two different filters per section, then stitching it all together. After 24 days of imaging and editing intermittently between clear nights, I finally completed my very first astrophotography mosaic, and I couldn't be more proud of what I was able to accomplish considering the obstacles I had to face. So I'm really excited to finally be able to show you my finalized mosaic of the Saturn region. I can't thank you all enough for watching, so if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and follow me on social media. Until then, take care of yourselves, be kind to one another, and I wish for you clear skies.